We are Sean, Emma, Rex and Maggie and in this series we head on a tour of South West Scotland in Rennie, our motorhome. In this episode we head to Newcastleton, the final stop on our South West Scotland tour. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> we have left Glentress. I think we're a little bit sad about that, aren't we? Yeah, definitely. We liked it there. Yeah, it was good. I yeah, we'll definitely be back. I would like to go back there. I think it's added to the fact that we're now like starting to head south back home. Yeah. Only three more days. Yeah, yeah, we're heading home now, aren't we? So yeah. the journey home is always yeah. the worst. So today anyway, we've come through, we're going through, basically we're heading to Newcastleton, which is the last of our Seven Stains tour. Um, one of us will ride it, not sure who yet, we'll see. I think it's going to be you. I think it's going to be me, because he's still knackered from yesterday. Um, so we'll see. We're expecting some sunshine tomorrow morning, so I might get up early and go and do the blue. It's only six miles, so... I'll go and check it out. So we've got a campsite book for tonight in Newcastleton, but there's been a road diversion. So we've got to go down a load of B roads to get there, which I'm not too happy about. Um, we're currently sat in a Morrison's car park in Harwick. I think that's how you say it. Um, and there's a big diversion around the town as well here. So there's a lot of road works going on at the moment in Scotland. We've seen that a lot, haven't we? Yeah, they've, they've been doing a lot of uh, maintenance, maintenance to the roads. Yeah, yeah, probably after a heavy couple of, you know, couple of years with the pandemic and everything, yeah. um, the road system's probably got a bit of a battering. So um, yeah, so we're just gonna do a cheap fill, fuel fill up at Morrison's. It's about 10p cheaper here than everywhere else we've seen. Still £1.37. Yeah, still £1.37, but that's still 10p cheaper than we've yeah, seen elsewhere. Know, so, so we're gonna fill up while we can make sure we get home i think the fuel crisis is all over now but yeah. um yeah so we're going to fill up and then we're going to head down to newcastleton and hopefully we can pitch up after one o'clock so we're all good there and then i think we're just going to ride this weather out because it's very windy today mm, yeah it is so. also not my favorite choice of weather to drive around in <laughs> no so yeah so hopefully we'll get there in one piece and um, yeah, and we'll see what it's like tomorrow. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Look at this bright sunny morning this Free morning. The condensation. Look. <laughs> In Newcastleton. It is currently one degree. It is. I've taken the dogs out and it was a bit crusty on the uh, on the grass. First time I've seen frost this year. So, but obviously I offered to do the cycling round Newcastleton to finish off the seven stains um, but Emma declined. No I did decline, totally did decline because I have done all of the others so I am going to do this one uh, just so I can say that I've done them all and you haven't. Purely for bragging rights. Totally for bragging rights, <laughs> why not? <laughs> Well, yeah, well, I can't say anything because I haven't done all seven. No. I won't have done all seven. No. So, yeah, Emma will have. So I'm sure she won't let me forget it. Nope. Seeing as it was your idea to come and do this trip to do the seven stains. Yeah. And you failed. <laughs> you failed this city. <laughs> And I, I have won. Yes. Well done. Well done. Well done, you. For those wondering where we stayed when we came to Newcastleton, we stayed at this site, which is a caravan and motorhome affiliated site. And this was our pitch, right next to the toilet block. Handy. All hard standing. <laughs> and it's a pretty lovely site. It's very small. Yeah, it's a nice site. Little pond with the geese over there. 
showers are really good look really good um that's it, <laughs> there you go you're ready to go all right you are in the sunshine in the sunshine right from the site off i go see you later bye bye So I believe we just come out of the campsite. Both ways for traffic. I'm going to go straight over. And hope that I can get through here. Yep, so there's a road. Here, if I turn left, it should take me up by the river. So we'll just check the map. Yep, there we go. So there you got seven stains, sign, trail information. So I am going to do the blue. So we're here. So we're going up, and then I think it was a loop, and then we come down slightly different way it's about six 9.7 kilometers which is just over six miles I think so let's crack on Ooh. great view of the river Welcome to Seven States. Um, so I've just come down by the river. So down from the campsite, straight over, down to the river walk. This bridge I'm going to go over here. You can just see there. Uh, I think this is the same route that Emma may have taken on the mountain biking. Um, the actual Newcastleton walks are from a different car park so you can't get to them from the village but we're not going to drive up there uh, so I'm just going to head for a little walk see what we can find uh, it's a fantastic day the sun's come out so I'm going to make the most of it Gorgeous morning. It's cold, but so nice to have the sun out, sun shining. Yep, first bit of a little bit of single track, I think. Maybe not. The blue here is uh, not supposed to be that difficult it's classed as a, a family route with an introduction to mountain biking so I expect it to be fully either groomed or mostly fire roads but we'll see Through the forest. <sighs> okay. 
Okay, so I think this is the most uh, far away point from the campsite. That was quite a long fire road section and it was mostly uphill. Uh, so it's quite hard work, even on an e-bike. Um, so I think what happens now is we've got a single track section through here um, that takes us back down and then another little single track bit further on. Um, so let's see what this is all about. Um, now, for those people that watched my Glen Tress video that may have spotted my terrible thumb technique when descending, um, you're totally right. I got an absolute bollocking off Sean when I got back and he watched the video back because I tend to, what I tend to do is when I'm going uphill, I tend to put my thumbs over and when I go downhill, I should really put my thumbs underneath like that so that I don't slip, my hands don't slip off the pedal, off the handlebars. Now, I went down the whole of the Glentress Blue with my thumbs like this. Um, and Sean, when he watched it back, was absolutely amazed I didn't come off, didn't slip forward in my hands. Now, for anyone who also does that, put their thumbs over the top like I am now, I'm going up at the moment, so it's okay. It's just more comfortable. But when you go down, make sure you've got your hands fully round the handlebars. You know, they are there for that reason. So, sorry about that guys. I am a beginner. I'm going to make mistakes. My technique is awful. So, feel free to let me know if you see if I'm doing anything else wrong that would help me. It's a bit up and down this. I haven't had much down yet. But it's good for practicing your technique. Oh, a bit of a boardwalk here. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but this is what I struggle with. Rolling up onto things. And I need to practice that when I get home. Okay, so back down the same fire road we went up and we're going to follow the sign, the blue, down back to the campsite, I think. So this is the last section of single track, I believe. Let's see what this is all about. To the 
good. So I'd say actually, other than that bit that I bottled, which was steep and um, probably most beginners would really struggle with that, they'd have to walk down. Yeah, um, I think most beginners should be all right getting through, getting around that, that trail. And it's not too long either. So we'll head back to the van and hopefully I can grab a shower before we've got to get off the campsite because we're moving on today. Today is our last day in Scotland and we are heading home. So, peace out. <laughs> Look who we found here. Who's that? Who's that, hey? Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, cool. You all right? Yeah. You done? Yeah. Oh, here we go. I'm done. All done? Yeah. How did you get on? Yeah, um, there's actually some quite hard bits on that. Is there? Yeah, it's not very, um, I would put it, yeah, it's difficult to kind of where to put it in the things. I actually really enjoyed it. Oh, good. There's I'm a glad. Of bits I just couldn't do. Yeah, oh, really? Yeah, so it's just the road. That's alright. Um, yeah, so there's a couple of bits I just I can do because the the way you come back is the red coming back as well. Oh uh, right, okay. Yeah, so there was a there's a couple of bits going onto bridges that were the step ups which I struggle with. Right. And then um, a couple of those, which obviously then made it difficult because the 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 um, boardwalks the, are really slippery. Yeah, I bet they are. Yeah, um, today. And then there was one bit at the end of the single truck coming back down at the top you had loads of like drop-offs little drop-offs and then big drop-offs for people yeah. to go over the big ones so that's the red option but right at the bottom there was a big drop-off and then loads of rocks and it was super steep ah uh, right I just totally put it up if I'm honest <laughs> I actually put the bike down while I was straddled it, it like oh no but anyway yeah so yeah I messed that up but um no, I really enjoyed it. It's a beautiful forest as well. It's Is really, it? really nice. I say it was worth coming yeah, here I'm then. I'm saying it's actually worth coming here. Right. Because everybody has been really negative about Newcastle. Everyone we've met going around, oh yeah, don't buy, you know. The thing is, for you and I, it's worth coming here. Right. For people like street pigeon or whatever his name was yeah is um and the other videos that we've seen and other people that have said yeah that maybe used to be going on blacks and jumping and all yeah that yeah yeah stuff. so glenn tress yeah, like it's, it's yeah hard enough no, no i get it yeah but actually i was just saying on camera like you would have enjoyed the blue right even though it's easy yeah i think you would still enjoy it uh, okay a couple of like jumps on it I could tell it's a tabletop a roll yeah. over there's some nice big drop offs yeah it's quite flowy even the up right quite not technical like Glen Trest was technical like with rocks yeah but like it really tight turns going up so right it's a couple of real real double ones you yeah. just turn and then you're straight into another one right which for a beginner or an intermediate or an average rider, it's quite good fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. A bit of uphill flow. Yeah, for someone, yeah, uphill flow. But yeah. for someone who's used to going, to, I don't know, doing the black at Inalethen, yeah, or Inalethen, or riding Bike Park Wales Blacks, you're not going to. No, no. But actually, come here for a day, day or two. I reckon it's worth it. Oh, well, that's good. Well, I'm... I enjoyed it more here than I did at Maybe, for sure. Right. And I think I actually enjoyed it more than AE as well, even though I liked AE. Yeah. AE was quite easy. Yeah. Rex. It's all right. AE was quite easy, whereas I found this a little bit, like, there was some upper bits in it, if you know yeah. what I mean. Yeah. Oh, well, that's good then. Yeah, no, I enjoyed it. Cool. I'm glad. Well, can I take a photo of me mushroom? You can. Carry on. <laughs> Time to go. It's time to head off. It is. This is it. We're leaving Scotland now. I ah. know oh, that's the end of the uh, end of the trip. Seven stains completed. It mate. done. <laughs> Thanks to everyone who has supported us by watching the videos in this series.
If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please do. And we will be back on the road with more adventures very soon. Thank you.